In glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Akar Kadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'aki and Wa'akwa, and I say Shalom. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 39, verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance in their scroll. It says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sale scrolls in the time of destruction, they pour out, pours the feeds of wrath to him that made it. And this is the book of Ecclesiastes. 12 and verse Ecclesiastes verse 12 and verse 14 it says for Yahweh shall bring every work into judgment and every secret thing whether it be good whether it be evil and this is a uh, news article from uh, NBCPhiladelphia.com and it reads Delaware County it says absolute tragedy it says two dead three hurt and a Chester workplace shooting it says uh Police dis descend on the West 4th Street in Chester, Pennsylvania on November the 22nd, 2024. And it says, after a disgruntled worker shot five people in a line of business and uh, killing two, according, it says, according to authorities. It says, the dam, the by dam stand published May the 22nd, 2024, updated uh, one hour ago. First, I just want to say a somber scene out here, to say the least, in terms of the neighbors and even some employees who were inside of Delaware County Linen with this when this happened. In fact, I spoke to somebody off camera who did not want to speak on camera, who told me uh, that he was inside and heard the gunfire. I asked him, was this surprising to you? And he said yes, in the sense that he had no warning, no indication previously to today that something like this might happen, as often is the case in these uh, workplace shootings. I am joined now by District Attorney Jack Stolsteimer with Delaware County. Jack, you were out here pretty immediately, same as uh, Commissioner Gretzky with the Chester Police Department. Tell us more about what we know in terms of uh, the two people who were killed and the three who were wounded. Sure. This is a horrible tragedy that we see too often uh, in America. Uh, this is a workplace shooting, a mass shooting. Uh, an individual who is an employee of the Delaware County Linen Company uh, came to work today. A, uh, angry uh, and took it out on his fellow employees. Uh, two were shot dead. Uh, they are deceased individuals. Uh, and three other people are seriously wounded. One is in critical condition. They're all at the hospital. We're all here processing the scene, but we're also praying for those people, all of the victims of this matter. As you heard me mention, I spoke to an employee off camera who told me he was inside, heard the gunfire. He told me he thought this was a surprise. He had no warning. Sometimes in these situations, there is no warning. Other times, people may have some awareness of a disgruntled employee and, and, and maybe have made threats in the past. Obviously, you're just getting preliminary information. What can you tell us? The information I have right now is the employee had had some issues with uh, fellow employees, but nothing that would lead to what happened today. I mean, this is just everyone's worst nightmare. Uh, people who are victims of this shooting today, they came to work to live the American dream. Uh, they came to work to work hard, play by the rules, and to get ahead in their lives. Uh, and today, two of them are laying on the ground dead. Uh, three others are at a hospital. It should never happen. And we understand Delaware County Linen, they obviously do laundering for, you know, they, they do uh, laundry services for various businesses uh, in the area, and people start, I think, very early in the morning to get the work done. Yeah, a very hardworking group of people uh, who are here today. Um, again, this is just a horrible tragedy uh, that this whole community now is feeling. As you and I were talking about earlier, we went a lot of effort here. Mayor Roots is here, City Council is here, everybody working together, law enforcement and the community, to reduce the number of shootings here in the city of Chester. Over the last four years, we've reduced the number of homicides by gun by 68%. Uh, that's why what happened here this morning shocked the community, because they're not used to hearing gunfire again in the city of Chester. Uh, but this is just a horrible, horrible tragedy. Another example of somebody who had access to a firearm who shouldn't have. Uh, and took out whatever uh, anger he had for whatever reason 
on the employees of this core business. Two points I want to talk about. One, we should also point out the suspect is in custody. Trainer police picked up that suspect who was fleeing, leaving the scene in a vehicle. They had a description, picked him up, so we should make sure our viewers are aware of that. Get, getting back to your point in terms of the crime in Chester, we were talking about this. We've done reports on this, that the crime actually has been coming down, certainly in recent years, as other neighboring areas have seen an increase in crime, uh, certainly in the wake of the pandemic. Um, and in fact, at one point just a few years ago, uh, city officials from Philadelphia came out to Delaware County to talk to your task force about your collaborative efforts to bring down the homicide rate and gun violence here. How does this perhaps impact or change your efforts? No, we will continue to do the work we do every single day to try to keep the community safe. Uh, today is a tragedy. Uh, this could happen in any community across America and increasingly does happen in all kinds of communities across America. We should just be warnful of what happened here today. Uh, law enforcement, there's a great response by law enforcement. Uh, every police department in this area responded. As you suggested, the trainer police who are right next door were able to apprehend the individual as soon as we got a description out. Uh, a Chester police officer uh, put somebody in a, uh, a hand basket uh, and ran them out to the METs as they first came here to make sure that, that person got to the hospital as soon as possible. So our police officers, our first responders, everybody did what they needed to do. Um, this is just a horrible incident that we all have to, as a community, mourn, uh, but then go back to work to make sure that we keep our community as safe as possible. Delaware County District Attorney Jack Stolsteimer, thank you for your time and for your insight and information in this. We are going to send it back to you in the studio. I do want to point out, standing just off to the side of me, our city council members here in Chester, and we understand the mayor of Chester uh, either is here or will be here soon to give an update and certainly speak to the press um, about what's happening in terms of city council's efforts as it relates to this and the investigation. We will bring that to you and keep you posted as soon as we have it. Reporting live in Chester, I'm Rosemary Connors, NBC10 News. Rosemary, thank you so much. We'll see you again in about 30 minutes. In the meantime, stay with NBC 10 on air and online.